The next one on our agenda is water runoff on Rice Connor Road, and we had an email here from Krista Lebrun. Yep. So our, uh, and I'm her husband. Okay, this is my husband. We have uh, <coughs> here. We've got Google Maps and everything. Oh, actually, yeah, I, did a, uh, yeah, I did actually print out of the kind of erosion that's happening. <coughs> on the road and it's, it's drifting into my yard and then abutting the uh, abutting neighbor here. I um, also have video footage of the kind of water that's shooting through our, uh, our yard and hoping that something can be done to reroute it. Um, we don't have consideration. There is, we're new to the town, we've been here about six months. And, uh, you know, we have plans for our yard. Uh, ever since the land was developed, it's really funneling the water. Uh, hardcore, but it's coming off of the state land and then over the town's street and then a, a lot of erosion, so I don't know you're not quite consideration. The, you're not quite at the bottom of the hill. It, we are. Uh, so, you know, he has a little piping that, that's supposed to reroute the water later on. Um, but you can really see from this video footage that I have right here, you share, um, that the water's really flowing like a river off the land, up top. Now when was this footage taken? Um, this was about two weeks ago. Now is, this, is it continuing like this all the time? Uh, I hear that it's seasonal. Like I said, we've only been there for about six months. Um, so now it's relatively dry. But over time, this is going to erode. I'm just going to have a little valley here. You know? So I might as well yeah, build a little bridge. Your house is up high. Was that your house in the back? Is it the yellow house? Uh, so that's Fred's house right here. And you're, who are you, sir? My name is Fred Rogers. I'm at 120 Rice Corner Road. Uh, I'm 118. So if we fast forward a little bit. Their house is just built. So I can confess to the world off my land. Now it's something I own it again. Right. So there was there was consideration about development of the the house and the way the water was flowing, but really we can see that there's a waterfall pouring off of the state lands down the road, creating this kind of erosion, and then shooting down to his yard and really just creating a, a crazy flow of water. So. And I'm sure that you had just mentioned down below. I I went down and walked through there. There's a big gouge where the water's really cutting its way down back. I'm not sure we that property heading down towards Gay Road. So we know it's got to kind of walk that way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's pretty... Uh, well, it's probably ending in my field. That's why I got all the water. <laughs> that's all over the time. Is that your field? No, no, no. I'm across the street on Gay Road. So, if you are on Gay Road, you see my big barn. Okay. And, and you're coming down that hill. So what... What's so we happened? have a lot of water because we are at the bottom of the hill. So what happens is, I'll, I'll explain from my years of living here, and, uh, and Chris and Maureen live across the street from me. I asked Chris to come over and check something out one day. So when you have a big winter and you have two or three feet of snow sitting up on that hill, um, and then you get a warm day and we get like, say, two inches of rain, all that combined, is unbelievable mass of water that flies down that hill through that field and my whole backyard was covered to my to my garage the back of my garage all the way to the wood line now the donna and roland messier who owned the house prior to me had made a a swale with and they put four four inch pipes in there to catch the water and as it rose they thought those pipes would handle that it's not going to touch it. It comes right above that, and it just goes like crazy. So now, was that installed by the homeowner or the developer? I'm sorry. The, 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 the I don't know. I, I bought the home, so I couldn't tell you who okay. did it. I, I would probably say the homeowner did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I had to guess, right. they said Is that try to make this to sort of need to redirect it so that I could do something because they put a, a, a right. pool in the backyard and all that. So they had to say we've got to get this water away from mm -hmm. that area. So. With, it's, it's, it's not considered, or I mean, naturally it's not considered wetlands because you're allowing 
house lots to be built there. So um, he happened to be the first house lot. When they built it, they put it up towards the road and they built a, a berm in the back of his yard, which now keeps that water more in one direction. Now, the builder, from what I understand, is approved to build another house next to his, which so if you have a house here, his house, and then you're gonna put another house here, and the water's coming off this hill, you've now created a funnel. As well as the erosion that's coming off of the road. The road is eroding itself. Now, from what I understand, when Jeff had spoken to someone, they said, well, that's gonna be the builder's responsibility. Okay, great. But he's not responsible for what the road is now eroding away. And you can go and look at that yourself any given day, the road is starting to erode because of that water. So it's coming under the road as well as over the road when it's real heavy rains. Now you say, okay, does it only happen in the winter time? If we've had heavy spring rain or heavy summer storms where you get you know three or four inches of rain, it's still, now it's coming again. So therefore your backyard, he has a little literally a river going through his backyard. And then naturally, I go through my backyard, and it's coming down to your. So, you know, so uh, do I have a solution to the problem? No. But if we're going to put it on the builder, I, I would like the builder not to build this house, which is going to create a bigger funnel area. At least stop that until we figure out how we're going to correct this problem, which I believe is a problem and it needs to be corrected. Somebody at some point in time knew years ago, because I believe this was all farmland. I don't come around there. I just bought my house six or seven years ago, too. That was all farmland yeah. before they put any of those houses. Yeah, it was growing stuff when we got here. So, so everybody knows water came, came mm -hmm. down for a number, number of years, and yet they decided to let people build houses there. Well, they knew that at some point in time there was going to be an issue. I had stopped in at the town hall, and they agreed that it's an issue that needs to be resolved. Not the town hall, the, at the garage. And they did, they agreed that this is something that was going to have to get addressed at some point in time. And I think it's really two part two parts of it. Yeah. But certainly, we've got the the road and herbs back in the corner, and, and we certainly will have responsibilities to do something about the road to prevent erosion. On the flip side, just because of those, you're almost in a swale in mm -hmm. that area, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's all coming in that direction. Sure. It really does need. French drain or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're trying to catch basin before and another house. Yeah, and there. really want, my mind's going a little bit to say that it really wants to be an order. If that if that particular house were to be built, it would be part of an order of conditions. Now, is that builder the same builder that you bought from? Correct. Yes. Have you approached them as far as the idea of French drain and that I sort of thing? I looked for a solution that has not been even considered. No. So the, the, I'm the, sorry, builder. Just, the, the builder's refusing or? Uh, it's not a consideration. Um, uh, uh, they so basically I, stuck you? Is, I mean, that's my interpretation. Uh, we were kind of blindsided by the fact that this occurred. It was, we were notified it was somewhat of a stream, um, not a river during the season. So uh, when I mentioned it to him and I, Asked him to come here tonight. Obviously, he's not present. So, uh, the consideration yeah. of, of the this. conservation. Uh, yeah. Where's Ken? Yeah. Yeah. Ken, Ken, where, Ken, could you? I'm not going to solve it tonight. But. No, no, no. We can't. This is Mr. Cleveland from the Conservation Commission. I believe I spoke with you on the phone, Ken. Fred Rogers. I spoke with you on the phone, I believe. Yeah. And did you happen to come down and take a look at the back of my house? I granted you permission to walk on my property and take a good look at things. Right now, yeah. I'm sorry? I, when I issued the building sequence form for that house next to you, everything was blown dry. And we went back after they got their building permit, we went back and we wrote out an order of uh, uh, order conditions. Everything was dry. So uh, I don't see a problem. I don't understand where the water is coming from, whether it's coming off the road. I have um, a, uh, actually have video footage of it shooting off from the road. It's um, not video. But I can show you what's uh, it is certainly coming off of that state land. And it's on top of the property. Well, again, we're not going to solve yeah, this tonight. tonight. 
but but what I'm thinking, Madam Chair. Yeah. This can connect to the old. Uh, Do you want to call? This is the law of May, and then my law. Yeah, just the, well. Uh, no. no, I just. I, Everybody needs to get together. I mean, we yeah. can't solve it in no, this meeting. We're, yeah. we're we not smart enough. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think we may want to put a working group together. Yeah. One of us, yeah. maybe a member of the yeah, planning so board, maybe a member of the contract. Yeah, so it would be interesting to know what your conditions start, were. Start with uh, her, but Kenny. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 To say, basically, yeah. the, the I, I, land I think, has to be dry yeah. before he starts building. It's, it's yeah. one yeah. of the air water. Well, the planning board, I don't know why you want to. Ken, I can understand it. You can go to today. It's already been issued for the other house. We're talking about when you go three feet of snow in the winter now, and it's melting and it's coming and down this like is a even, river. This isn't even stop. three feet. This is no, no, no. Right, but the site, the site would have, have to, to be a site plan at some point. The site plan doesn't water. include some sort of water. Cap. This is under moderate conditions. Right. I've seen it when you got three feet of snow, four feet of snow, and then you get a warm rain, or two, two inches of rain, plus all of that. This I can is, show you if you walk down the back of my property, there's a dugout, kind of like if you look at the Grand Canyon, there's a big dugout from the water that's going down for this gentleman's property. Yeah. No, it all is a stream. Eventually this gets is, to the stream by the way. Yeah, it's happening in the back of Fred's house here. Like I said, I've asked Chris to come over and take a look, and he saw it. It was as, almost as wide as this room, and it was going. I mean, that's not just a little bit of water, and it's a major problem. Well, there's a stream eventually. So all I'm so, asking is that we stop. If he has a permit or a building permit, I'm asking before he puts this next house up. I'm not opposing the house, but the house. But let's solve the problem before this gets done because he doesn't want to hear about anything on his behalf of taking care of the water problem. The draining it or, or redirecting it somehow. I mean, when I bought 1.7 acres of land, the condition to you know have a nice swing set and, and use that usable land for my family. I have, I have a two and a half year old, and I have a little four month old. It's just my vision was kind of destroyed when I said, "Well, now I have a river going through." Yeah. And eventually, it's going to be all about. You know? Sharon, did you have some input on this? Planning board has no input on individual house slots. We only have input if it's a subdivision, mm -hmm. or if there's an obvious need for a site plan, such as an elaborate building project with many factors to it. Mm -hmm. I would suggest you talk to the building inspector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they should well, talk to. And again, I'm, I'm thinking Kenny's going to talk to her and worry about the road. And then... Do you want to loop Jeff in, perhaps? And then I'm thinking Kenny with Jeff and to have you party to it. Because sure. what, it, again, if it's the same builder and he's stiffing you for not doing and, it. And I don't want to use those words, I'm just saying. Well, it's... Resolving the issue okay. and it's kind so of the stating thing, what you know, the issue done. has to be resolved before he puts and another it, house. Up, yeah. And it and it's really yeah. it's it's multi pronged. Mm -hmm. It's it's not just one way or the other. It's mm -hmm. it. I agree with some condition to, to reroute or drain. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't need to block a house from being built, but if that is gonna help, you know, not I'm just asking before <laughs> we build the next house, which is yep. funneling mm -hmm. even further, mm -hmm. right. the the condition gets resolved. So, Kenny, can you work with Jeff? Sure. And make sure you get their contact information? I know where they live. Good deal. Okay, that's good. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming tonight. So you need to get together with anyone else, we're going to wait to hear from Jeff. You're, you're it's working with Ken. We're going to work with Ken for right now. Okay. Because I, I know he is. Take it right up with her. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, we're use the town truck. The yes. builder's looking to move forward soon. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if there's anything you can do about that, but the builder is ready to put a shovel on the ground tomorrow. So, so Kenny, does he have a statement of uh, order of conditions yet? Yeah, not yet. The other person doesn't have a building sequence form to get a building permit for the house. Well, what we understand is ready to put as well. That's what we're well, Maybe he's going to put the well in, but I haven't signed a building sequence form so we can go get a building permit. Perfect. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thanks for Mom, taking that. Did you have anything? And the spring the visuals. Okay. It's a lot okay. easier. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
that, just that person. Oh, and I just wanted to talk to some, about something related to 30 Kimball, so I can piggyback on that. So, we have permission, am I correct? It's right there. Okay. Everything is right here. That's the date where you have where you can, the date has passed, so you can definitely. Oh, okay, so, so, so we're clear, so we can now go to, uh, who's going to do the contracting? Okay, so 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 the decision to be made tonight is that we have three buildings. Keep them going. Anyway, uh, we have three buildings that we can take down. We need to practice on one to see what we're going to be doing. So the idea would be to to write uh, to go out for bid for the one house okay. and see where we are. With it. Um, All right. And you were thinking 30 Kimball is the one we ought to start on? It's Herb, you want to come up? <laughs> yeah, Herb, yeah, Herb, give us some ideas. You just said go out for bid for what? I didn't hear you. Tear down 30 Kimball? Which, which house do we start with? Do we Who's start doing with it? Fourth? Pardon me? Who's going to be doing it? Well, we're going to go out to bid. We're looking for some direction. Oh, you. Okay. Um, unless you think that the. Unless you thought that the higher department wanted it. I, He's out of money. I can want the money at work, but being real honest, I don't think you're going to get them torn down for the money that you got. So the idea of practicing to do one at a time. We have 9000 appro appropriated. Mm -hmm. And so to tear down one and see where we are with the nine grand is probably a good idea. I'd go off a bid for the heck of it and see what the bid comes in, but don't award it as far as I'm concerned to see what it is. My recommendation on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it, I would be interested to see what the price difference would be if we went out to bid for perhaps that one and maybe for South Maple, um, and just see what the price difference is between the two of them. Because didn't we appropriate nine thousand to take each of them? No, nine total. Nine total. Yeah, and that's Herb's point. Yeah, so, we're not going to get so, anybody to come in. So back to, there are three buildings, uh, mm -hmm. 4 South Maple, 30 Kimball, 16 North Brookfield Road. Mm -hmm. The reason I said Kimball is that it's people pass on Mill Street, they'll see what we're doing. And so that we're serious about no, doing Herb's something. Try, Herb is saying 4 South Maple. Better? Yeah. South Maple get that out the center. Okay. Yeah. All right. I stand corrected. Yeah. We we'll start with that one. So it's four South, South okay. Maple. And then people can see what's going on there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thanks, Herb. Okay, Karen. Do you need these back? But yeah, I hope you don't want me to do it immediately because I'm no. sure it's really busy with town meeting okay. prep. Okay. okay. Next thing on our I agenda. I gave my agenda away. Is uh, resignation. Yeah. Eight. Okay. This resignation to the uh, Honorable Board of Selectmen. As of this ninth day of April 2018, I give my resignation to the Town of Brookfield. My last day of work will be April 20th, 2018 from the Treasurer's Department. My resignation comes with a heavy heart due to the hostile work environment, including the ambush attack on my personal character and integrity from my fellow department heads. Uh, she says, she, I do, however, appreciate the appointment to fill the treasurer's position while being employed by the Board of Health Secretary and she was assistant town clerk and uh, we, uh, we, what was that, our office of shop access, records access? Oh, records a, a public records access officer. And she's <clears throat> going to continue doing both positions but she's going to be resigning as the treasurer. And I really hate to take this resignation because she's been doing an excellent job in there. Shame. She was trying. She was trying. So, but, but with with that, yeah. we need a motion to accept. The I'll make the motion to accept her resignation. No okay. second. Any any discussion on this at all? Well, what we have to do is. Oh, I understand. Create I just, the search. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Okay. the the key is going to be, I think, uh, we really need to ensure. Um, we're all aligned from a standpoint of, of what the requisite training is um, as people come in because I think one of the things that's difficult is finding somebody who has both the financial and 
human resources background to be comfortable in both aspects of that role? Well, we do have, um, we have an, an assistant treasurer and she's willing to take over the human resources section of it. So the treasurer she's doesn't do it. Anyway. She's been doing it. Yeah. She's Paul, been doing yeah. it. Holly's been doing it. So do we have a commitment from Keith? Yeah, Keith continue? said that he will stay on and Good. he'll help out. And he said that he'll, you know, probably with the training. And he said, I asked him when we put out the uh, job ad again, if he would sit in with us to pick a treasurer. And he said he would. I really, really think that we need to do that. Yes, that's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Keith yeah. said he will stay on with us. I mean, I don't know for how long, but we've got to get this out again. I mean, it's a shame this happened because she already went to school. She started schooling last year. She's been getting training on VADAR and, yep. you know, it's, it's, it's a shame this, this has happened because she, she straightened out. There was a problem with teachers' retirement down at Tantasqua, and it's been going on for a long time. And she, we got a call from Tantasqua, Holly did and said that she thinks it's a shame this happened because she straightened out this problem that nobody could straighten out. And then she was going to start in on more problems too. Yeah. And we've tried to talk to her to come stay with us and we'd work with problems, but she said she just can't do that. Yeah. No, we may have to even consider contracted services. Just because yeah, we have I, I think for the I think for the interim we may need to do that in order to complete the account reconciliation again, that we're, we're trying to do. Well, but I think we need to fit, yeah, look well, to Keith to give us good direction. Yeah, Keith will give us good direction. Okay, yeah. so uh, everybody in favor of this? Well, no, but yes. I know we're not in favor, but we Accepting have to Accepting the resignation. Yes. Yes, we're in favor. Right. Yes. And could you please send her out a letter of appreciation? Yes. yes. And uh, so we'll have to get... Uh, are, are we, I, yeah, we'll do, appoint Keith as the interim treasurer again, and so we'll just have to get the ad out in the paper. So a quick question, just procedurally, um, do we um, follow our own bylaw and establish a uh, treasurer search committee? Because we never did take that bylaw off the books. Yes, we did take it off the books. Is it, yeah, we checked last time. Yeah, we, we did checked it last time. Check last yeah, time it's off the books. It it's the it's okay. the selectmen, and we'll have. Um, That's why last time we never. And we'll have Keith. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think between the four of us, and with Keith's guidance, I'm sure that we can yep. go through okay. the fine. Good. So, what paper then will? No, we I just wanted you to make sure that you just vote on Keith as the interim. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And a motion okay. to appoint Keith, Keith. as the interim. I'll second that. Uh, so. We'll have to figure out, Karen, when we're going to do our... Yeah, break. I'll do it at the end of the Thursday. I mean, I'll we'll put something together, and by Monday we'll get something. So do we want to get Tuesday it in? Tuesday is the newspaper deadline, and we can put something Do we want to get it in the TNG, or we just want to use the local papers like in... Uh, well, let's do online. So, uh, I mean, go yeah. online. We'll go online. Yeah, because I reached out CMRPC-wise, and yeah. there's just okay. nobody out there. I know. What I've seen... Have you ever used that? What? That indeed... Um, I've used it. It's not. It's not anything different than most. Most, yeah. It's. I mean, right now it's the, the quote unquote hot place because they do the consolidation. And I. Do you recommend that also advertise? Um, I think if it's not if it's cost effective, it couldn't hurt. So I think the the key with that is that they both um, do the job posting, but then they'll also do some pre-screening resumes for you. <coughs> Okay, so we'll sit down, Karen, I'll come in and we'll sit down and see what Yeah, I think we have to do more than just the Yeah, we have yeah, to do I'm positive. Yeah. At least what's to pay for them. Okay, the next one is to sign the MIA insurance rates for FY19. And um, the insurance has gone up 2.81%. That's not bad. You had another resignation in Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, that was from Bill Nall. From the Zoning Board of Appeals. Okay. As much as I regret to inform you, due to a medical condition, I have to resign from the Zoning Board of Appeal effective immediately. It's another one you hate to be losing members of the board. Good guy. So, Motion to accept with regret. Second. All in favor, aye. And you'll do the same thing, get Bill out on letter of resignation. I mean, appreciation also. Okay. So the next one here, like I started off. Uh, on the health insurance, it went up 2.81%, and that's not bad at all. That's a good, good rate. So, motion to sign. Motion to sign. Second. 
All in favor, aye. 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 So it must just be one signature, chairman of the board, I suppose. Twenty four? Yeah. Yes. Twenty. My father's ninety second birthday. Oh really? Oh my goodness. Yep. Of course. Well, happy birthday. Congratulations. Are you still acting the way you said he was? Or is he slowing the, down? Slowing down. Slowing down. Okay. Our next one here is from uh, signed Cook and Company IOD coverage for FY nineteen. Oh, that's for the uh, first responders and the police. Okay. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 PC invoices for Draper and High Street Grant. Yeah. Oh, right. I don't know. I think all three have to sign this. Yeah, we all three of us have to sign this. Cool. Motion to sign. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, thank you. Special use permits. Motion to sign. Okay, this is for, for Quaybog for the Greater Lowell Bass Fishers and the other, and it's for uh, 5 19 2018, and the other one is 6 03 2018, and this is for the Tri County Bass Meets. Yeah, keep going. We, 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 we've got a motion. We've got a second. Motion. Sign. Aye. 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 And, and just uh, FYI, on Saturday morning, we're going to put a new kiosk up at the Quaybog Boat Ramps mm -hmm. um, for the kayakers, that map that got created. Oh. So they've got a kiosk and they're going to install it on Saturday morning. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're going to set the dates. 
Okay, what, what you're saying? Um, if you go by the two-week schedule. Two weeks. Tonight, yeah, because there was someone, I think it was Holly, who was on the calendar, or it was Keith. Remember, he wanted you to commit to a certain date. And it was two weeks, two weeks from tonight. He just wanted to make sure you were following the two-week schedule. So that should be the eighth, right? Yes, yes, exactly. But wait, but isn't the eighth, isn't that the, uh, oh yeah, we meet on, okay, so we want to meet on the eighth. Eight and 15. Mm-hmm. Okay, so May eighth. three times that month. The 22nd again? Oh, okay. So what do you have? May 8th, and what's the next one? May 8th, and we have um, May 15th, and then we have the 22nd. Do we need to? Yeah, I think we probably do right before town meeting. Yeah. And between well, the warrants and what yeah, have you. And especially, you're going to have a meeting the week of the 14th? Right, you're meeting the week of the 14th with the finance guys? Oh, no, they, they said that uh, not yet. With okay, all right. No. So, well, and then if we have the 15th and the 22nd, that would be yeah. to help that. And I'm sure in between time we can call some meetings. I'm sure we'll have to get together some more on a night we don't have a regular meeting with the advisory board. Right. Yep. So we'll set that. Okay, so that's the 22nd. And then... Why don't we just... Do we still want to set now? Two weeks. Why don't we want to go into June? Yeah, why don't we go into June? All right. Okay, we'll go to the, the fifth. Okay, and then we go into. And of course, you'll have the 615 meeting yeah. before the. And the 12th. I'm going to do 12. Hmm? Sounds like a plan. And then, let's see, two more. I'll bring this in. Sorry. Two. Do we want to do another one June 26th? Might as well. That would be after, yeah. And if we need to. If post we, them. We'll post them. Oh, yeah, we can always cancel them if you don't have enough. Exactly. Right. And this, the 15 is already posted. Okay. So we just want to do those for now, and then we'll, yeah, we'll just do those. All in favor of the date? Aye. Aye. Okay. And the 15th, we'll meet at, we said 6 p.m. at the school. What? 6 p.m. Oh, 6 to, yeah, 15 to 6 Yes, 6 <coughs> in yeah. the cafeteria. Yes, yeah, with the, with the, uh, Okay. Now, but the next one here is under other. Please. Oh, um, I don't know if you want to do any of that. Do you want to do what, any what of this? It? What's that one? I just put some information in there. Should you? I don't know. Oh yeah, no. This, no. Okay, we're, all right. we're, okay. We're, we're working on this. It will okay. be long term. Okay. So why don't we skip yeah. over here to? Correspondence. Let's see what's in the correspondence. All right. This is uh, from National Grid. National Grid is committed to providing our Massachusetts customers safe and reliable electric service, utilizing the most cost effective and efficient process and procedures. A recent review of our process for obtaining permission for installing new utility poles in a way, it's AKA. Um, poll petition process indicates an opportunity to reduce our costs and timelines associated with this practice. Because this is also potentially means a change in national grid representation at a poll hearing, we are writing to provide you with some background and ask you for your consideration to change this. And they said two years ago we realized that a number of poll petitions in Central Mass and Western mass were being denied resulting in additional costs and time delays due to not only to resign the poll location but also for our rep to return to another hearing for the same petition. We began a 
we begin a concerted effort to understand the reasons and rectify this issue. Having the National Grid Designer resolve any abutter or DPW highway superintendent concerns prior to the poll hearing so that the attendance is, ne is not necessary at a hearing. And this was signed by Kevin Shaughnessy from the National Grid. He's a community and customer management. You're basically saying that instead yeah. of sending yeah. someone to the poll hearing, yeah. they want to review it with the um, DPW director yeah. and yeah. the abutters first and then yeah. they'll decide. If there's a need to have anyone okay. sign, there probably isn't some. So we have a motion to have uh, the National Grid Designer resolve any abutter and highway department superintendent concerns prior to the poll petition hearing so that the attendance at the hearing is not necessary. I'd like the motion for that. Yeah, that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And so that's up. Oh, I have another chatter. Effective. This is from chatter. Effective on May 21st, 2018, the channel Animal Planet will move from spectrum pricing and pa packaging tier one to a wider availability at SSP select tier on all lineups. For a complete lineup, visit spectrum.com slash channel. So that's it. Okay. Now we'll so move on with the advisory your executive session after this meeting. Yes. We should do the advisory board. Yes. yes. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. We're going to do the advisory board if they want to come up. Uh, come on. Oh, they gave, they gave, yeah, you put each other back. That's pretty well. What? This is everybody's advisory? This is, no, that can come down. Oh, 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 this can you. These are our, uh, um, okay. Budget that you guys have to do. Yep. Yeah. They just want to go over a budget. Well, we are probably talking to what Kerry is going to do as far as the industry transfers. Yes. Officially. And I've never met this gentleman before either. I've seen you at meetings. My name is Tom Regan. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. I've never I've seen you, but I've never yeah, met you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've seen you around also. Yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah. You're much more visible than that. <laughs> and I don't know this fellow over here. Uh, Doesn't have a right. This is the first selection. No, good. Good. Oh, this is going to be my first one. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. Now it's a working budget, so if it's a little messy. That's why. Now, how about with the municipal transfers? We had one of those. It was only one. It was for the library. For the library. Steve, did you get that one? I did. We weren't yes. able to act on it because those have to happen in May or something. Like no. no, no, no. It can be that can happen in April. Right. Okay. Yet yeah, those happen as early as April. Yeah, but it doesn't really have to be municipal transfer. Can't we just transfer it out of the reserve fund? I have oh, no yeah. idea. Yes, yeah. I, I brought reserve. it up and I yes, said... Yes, we can, yeah. Can, yeah, no. yeah, that's true. Because actually... the reserve fund, yeah, the municipal ones happen, I think, after town meeting? No, that, no, that would be, it would, actually, he's correct. Um, May and June, you can do transfer emergency funds. transfers. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, you, but reserve yeah. fund can be any time. Any time, yeah. Reserve fund is any time with the municipal ones. You don't need uh, town mission, town meeting support for that. Okay. Request for transfer funds, municipal, municipal relief, relief transfer. And I brought it up, and a couple of people said, no, it's going to wait until May. And so we just. What's, what's the from account on there? The, say it again? What's the from account? Like, where's. Uh, not to, okay. It's for the library. To what account? No, from it's library. Got some, yeah, it's got something Trans to do with library. books. Oh, library, yeah. library? <coughs> yes, yeah. uh, the uh, membership. To what account? Library book account number 192. Yeah. Yeah, if we don't do it, they cut us No, out. I understand that. Cut, so. Never mind. Just this, this one. Yeah, this is the one that we looked at. We signed that already. Right. I just couldn't remember the from. 
Okay, so actually, and I don't think you've done any transfers out of reserve. It could be, it could be done now if you choose to take it out as a reserve account, because if it's an if it's a if it's a, if it's a municipal transfer, emergency transfer, then if it's from a different budgeted account, it can only be done in May and June. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's coming out of the reserve fund, it can come out any time. And they need it because they don't have any more money. Correct. And, and actually, from a standpoint of to meet the state law requirements, it has to come out of the reserve fund. We went through this a couple years back. So if you if you write in the from account is from the reserve, where it's a... Uh, um, because we have to, in essence, have budgeted a sufficient amount to meet the state law requirement. So and this is the library's reserve fund? That's the, no, no, it's, it's, the, town's, reserve. it's the town's Got reserve it. fund. And I so, think there was, what we usually put in, about 25000 into that? Yeah, there was twenty five yeah. from this year. 25000 goes into that. Okay. We're voting to transfer from the reserve yeah. fund to the library book account number 192, $1,000. Yeah. Five thousand, I thought. It says one thousand. No, it was one thousand. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The books written for the library. Yeah, but and I apologize that I missed the fact that it wasn't from the reserve fund when it came through yeah. to us the first time. But it needs to be in order to to meet Mass General. See, law. a lot of times, uh, Steve, people will come to you and they'll they say that they are out of funds and they're not quite out yet. So a lot of times the advisory board will advise them to use the money that they have in their account and then when they're all out of the money then you can give them a reserve transfer uh, fund, excuse me, you can give them money from the uh, reserve fund to finish out their budget for the year. Mm -hmm. Very well. Um, we will probably just take this up on Thursday. Okay, great. Okay. And, uh, rather than pull it out tonight. Um, Thanks for your time. Um, you know everyone here. Excellent. Uh, we've uh, been moving along. Um, there's a couple of things that we're, we're just looking for in the way of guidance. Um, I sent you an email on that. Uh, I wanted to first ask, I, I submitted to you copies of all budgets that we've approved. And I'm assuming yes, you have that. Yes, Yeah, very well. Excellent. Beautiful. Um, and. Um, this body should feel free to just question away, ask and whatever else if, if you've got um, inquiries and everything else. But before we get to your budget, what are, 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 you, are, are you ready to and expecting to review your budget this evening as well? You already did. You got it. You already did. You voted on it. Yeah, we already voted right, but on it. With, with us. With another, them, yeah. Another. Oh, with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very well. Um, I was just gonna, I'm gonna go to the email that I sent on the 12th of, May, of April, just sort of mm -hmm. walking through s certain things. Um, uh, we had asked for information, complete as possible information on free cash for the current year. I received a reply from Cary Town Accountant saying this information not likely to be available until the 24th. Um, it's um, just wondering the status of that. We haven't heard anything. I meant to follow up with her this morning. Mm -hmm. I know that she's to. still, I don't know if she was supposed to have Justin Cole was supposed to come down and help her, and I don't know if she got help from him because she's right at a standstill right now, and she needs Justin Cole. And they've got to send in, because I, I call the Division of Local Services, and they need to see a balance sheet, and they haven't gotten anything yet. Right, I know she, she sent us an update, what was it, about a week ago related to the fact that she had taken the reconciliation as as far as she yeah, could that's take what it, it was. and that in essence there's there's still some discrepancies which is very typical when you're doing the reconciliation mm -hmm. uh, but she needs some guidance from Justin of the appropriate yeah. way to yeah that's uh, what she says she's at a stand that's what I just said she's at a standstill right now and she's waiting for Justin to come down or somebody from his office but the Department of uh, Local Services said they need a balance sheet first from the town and then they need schedule a right. And they need that before they can do any approval of free cash. So we can't give you any date when free cash will be approved. Yep. But the carry can't even this. Right. But we're, <clears throat> we're carried back to the process. Yes. The carries got, uh, it was four pages of recon yep. reconciliation Relations. notes that are in the current year, as mm -hmm. I understand it. So what we have is reconciliation through 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And she has notes. And again, it was four pages of notes for 18. And that uh, once she meets with Justin, 
yeah. that she'll she'd work it. through those four pages of the notes. And I know and some, the, so I'm sorry, you can no, change. No, 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 I'm no, 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 I'm just saying, and once, once mm -hmm. she's able to go through those, those discrepancies and, and correct them, then we're in, a, we're, we're in a position to understand free cash. Yeah, and then they, um, I know that the treasurer's office already resolved a couple problems with her already. So they've been solving them too. One was just, one happened right that same day, and then I think Keith was working on the other problem. So we basically have four pages of stuff that she needs to reconcile. Got it. To be able to be to the twenty. We're, we're shooting for at the very latest June fifteenth on that. It's got to be before there that. You go. you be <laughs> Hike the ball, right? Yes, yeah. and, and she's well aware of the concern. Yeah. Does okay. she need any? Support in getting the the Bay State folks in here to do the last bit. I was going to call Justin up if he hadn't called. Okay. I, I was going to get Thank in touch you. with Justin. Yeah. I they, have a letter started for him. <laughs> I can finish it because I saw some. I'll talk later. All right. Tom, so so we're satisfied. just waiting for all this to just fall in together and get mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. the, the approval from mm -hmm. Division of Local mm -hmm. Services. Okay. okay. What else? We what else? Visibility into the warrants expected for the annual town meeting that will affect the 2019 budget. Uh, I received a reply saying no warrant articles have been turned in yet. Uh, these light, light items will likely uh, these items will likely have to be addressed after the warrant is closed for submissions. Okay, but since then, um, I did have my clerk put all of the articles that did come in um, as of. I believe it was Thursday, the last day we're here, and we put the copies in your mailbox. I hope you got them. I just took everything out of my mailbox, and I did not see anything the way. Okay, it well, I know Lois copied them, and let me go check. Let me make sure she didn't put them in the wrong mailbox. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I, 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 what I got out tonight was okay. uh, just a copy of the. Yeah. Okay, because we did get several articles, and what I can do is if she didn't. <coughs> I just oh, I got it tonight. tonight. Okay. Yeah. If if she didn't leave them, then I'll just make up some quick copies. Right. I'll give you at least one copy. Okay. Yep. Good. What we have. But I'm gonna check because Cherry seat, Beth, you sent us something which we printed out. That's the best thing we've got to work off. Correct. Check yes. cherry cherry cherry. I had previously sent you a link to the Correct. DLS website where they'll update it, and I, my understanding is now both the governor and the the Senate or the representative numbers are up. I don't think the Senate has voted on it yet, okay. but I can get you an update if you need it. I've got 417 is the most recent thing I have. I know I sent you some older documentation on 417. Yeah, no, uh, Carrie sent me this. Okay. Town accountant sent me that. She also sent the um, levy limit. Okay. Yeah. And. Um, right, so that's straight off the tax recapitulation, which doesn't take into consideration all the numbers that need to be part of the levy limit. So I can take you all through how to do the full funds available calculation again. Yeah. Um, when's your next meeting? Thursday? Thursday night. Okay. Yeah. So um, I did send you all the, I think I had previously sent you all the sheet we used to use for developing the full revenue amount. Um, that includes not just the um, portion that's on the tax recapitulation, but it also allows for the transfers that we bring in from other departments um, and, and the full calculation beyond just the tax levy, including local receipts and all that. So I can step you all through that. Yeah, would you mind bringing that? Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you again, and I'll step you through it. It's okay. Yeah. Would, would you have any um, stuff to top of your head? Because I had a number, which I think was on the email, as far as the possible revenue projections at 8134501 Does that ring a bell? That sounds close to what it ought to come out, yes. Okay. Yep. And then the other thing, which I was a little bit, um, I mean, it's not off too much, but this is something that I think Landy had given us, or I don't know if it was the, um, uh, this was maybe off of your. That's, that's the old budget sheets. Right. Is this, is this out of date now? From This says this 16, 17, and 18, and I was trying to figure out what to use as a base 
what was last year's budget was the actual number because she told us to use sort of as an estimate I think two and a half percent off of the final number here what are we oh okay so this is something that looks like uh I know it was Carrie or Lanny. Had given it was, this was probably Carrie. Carrie, did that? Yeah, Carrie's yeah, yeah. yeah. been working with you. Yep. She, she yep. said add, uh, add two and a half percent. Two and a half percent yeah. to that number. Okay, that sounds yeah. about right. Yeah, because we okay. had like seven. From the standpoint of like, uh, Just, are you talking about overall budget target? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I was we're trying to figure out what sort of headroom we had going through when we were we were the numbers on the fifth. The fiscal year 18 budget. Um, so, and that's what why we're working off of. And then the top one was the 8134 So, we just came to that last week after that email. So, we figured more or less we have sort of an idea of what the right. that's, range that's what is now within a you know 10 or 20 30,000. Yeah. We're not you know right. <laughs> order of magnitude, right? Exactly. Um, but that we think that's more or less where we're going to land, at. yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Have most of the budgets been coming through level funded, or they're, they're, you know, um, this this is a spreadsheet that I that I put together. We've got basically we still have the police. I'm, is that right? Go I was going to say we have about um, thirteen departments um, so far have minimal increases. The rest mm -hmm. of them were level funded, but you know the the uh, the accounting area and then treasury had some, and um, the, of course the school budget was was up. But for the most part, the, the ones you'd expect would come through at level funding. Not big, not big bumps. Not big you know, five hundred thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, that sort of thing. Um, everything was justified. You know, extra hours for this person to do this job, that sort of thing. Uh, I can't think of any big bumps beyond that. Um, yeah, the, the anybody else? The consultant for the for the accounting for the treasury and then the new computer system, the VADAR thing, the system. Yeah. It was yeah. a tax, I think the tax collector yeah. went into yeah. the yeah. new yeah. VADAR system. The assessor wanted some extra hours also for the uh, going to the new electronic uh, record system. Yeah, he he talked to us about yeah. that last and, week. And those all those all made sense. Oh sure. There is a petition article too that Mike has. That's the only other one that isn't in there. Okay. Which I'll get a copy of. He just hasn't given me a copy yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um. Anything else? Yeah. I, I, again, I'm I'm new, so I'm not exactly sure how the whole process works, but I think we'll get to the point where we're more or less within the range up until all of the warrants, and I don't know yeah. how those get approved or how where the money comes from if we're <laughs> right. So that's, and, and, and that's yeah. actually a um, a piece of it. And Madam Chair, I don't know if you want to describe it or or if you prefer. Well, most, well um, a lot of the money's like in the budget comp, those are appropriated funds from the town. It, that's in the tax, no, that's not the tax. They're appropriated funds that come. And then we have um, different, uh, also when the articles and things come in, some of the monies are appropriated there. And then we also have, um, bar, uh, we could do borrowing or we can transfer from one fund to another. So, so a piece of it, and, and you'll see, um, I know the CIPC is going to be voting tomorrow on a, a plan to bring to us, mm -hmm. um, which talks a little bit about the fiscal policies and kind of outlines, I think, what some of your questions are. Yeah. Yeah. So from, from a standpoint of um, raising appropriate funds, uh, that's where I was talking about that kind of consolidated yeah. spreadsheet that, that shows you how to bring in the cherry uh, sheet receipts, the uh, actual mm -hmm. uh, property and personal taxes, as well as uh, we do have a couple of special funds, one of them being ambulance, another one being the water department, where those can be sources of funding for specific things within the budget. So for example, the, the ambulance um, salary and their expenses will come directly from the ambulance fund. That's a, an article that we vote every year in order to transfer the amounts of money that they need for their budget. So that's not necessarily part of that bottom line budget. And then for the articles, 
we have options. So we, depending on how much headroom we have between us and the, and the combined levy limit, we can vote it as a raise an appropriate activity and just keep it within the, the operating funds. We can apply free cash to things that are on the, the warrant separately. Um, or we can, uh, if, we, if we were in a position to take money out of stabilization or needed to take money out of stabilization for something that was absolutely critical, that could be done as well. So those are the primary funding. And then as the, the chair spoke to it, um, there are some borrowing options as well. Uh, currently, we're using state notes for, for our borrowing um, in the future. Um, and one of the things that the Capital Improvement Planning Committee addresses in their um, plan is, is what we would need to do, the steps we would need to take in order to get ourselves mm -hmm. a bond rating and be eligible for other funds, uh, which the reconciliation we're doing and the follow-up audit that we're doing are two critical pieces of because that. Because I know that uh, <clears throat> Blanning had met I think it was last week with the uh, uh, Clark, Clark, Clark and he Brown. said that we have to be audited before we can have uh, get to have it. Right, we're actually going to need to get audited at yes. probably at least two years running. Yeah. So just so because we're together, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, maybe stop for a second yep. on that very topic because of the intelligence that we now have yeah. that we will be going through an audit mm -hmm. as soon as we finish the reconciliation. And that what the bonding agent was saying is that we needed to be audited twice again yep. to be able yeah. to get a bond rating. So now what to have in the back of our minds that as far as whether we budgeted this mm -hmm. town meeting or the next special or whatever, we're looking at audits in subsequent years to be able to get a bond rating. Yeah. If enough mm -hmm. is enough, yeah. let's get it done. Because we haven't been bonded, we only had half of FY13 done. So Did you guys get that? Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to pay for audits for a couple of years in order to uh, get, in order to be able to qualify for getting a bond yeah. rating. And Correct. Hopefully it's a good one, but. And the last time we had an audit, and it was only half of FY13. So we've got to be audited, and the auditor wouldn't come back because of everything needed to be reconciled the reconciliations mm -hmm. between the departments so this is why he wouldn't come back and do it mm -hmm. but the good news is yeah. we're four pages away yeah. four, pages. four pages away <laughs> yes. um, could you clarify something for me um free cash is that money that's been raised but not spent from previous years it's a, it's a combination of things actually so it's money that's been raised previously budgeted and then not spent is is a portion of it and the secondary portion of it is the difference between what the on the annual tax recapitulation sheet what the difference between what we say our local receipts is going to be which is things like fee, permit fees and if we go and get tax title monies or if somebody pays um, if there if there's a tax lien but or if there's a um, if there's a tax taking but it hasn't gone to tax title and people pay back taxes from prior years um, those sort of sources of revenue, if we get monies back from, say, FEMA or MEMA, that can also go into free cash. So there's a lot of different sources. It's basically um, what you didn't spend plus what you brought in in, uh, in excess of what you, what you had proposed you were going to bring in. So it's effectively a combination of unexpectedly higher revenue mm -hmm. and unexpectedly lower <coughs> expenses or yep. expenses below budget. Below right. Budget. And then once you prove to the state that both of those things actually happened, it comes back to you in the form of free cash, which you're allowed to apply uh, to your um, capital expenses for all intents and purposes. Right. Or so to the tax rate can, if we're in a position yeah. where we've got great stabilization and we cover our capital expenses, we could also apply it to the tax rate. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's and what I thought. And then this year, <clears throat> we had used um, stabilization money for a lot of the articles last year, and we made a statement that we need to put, I think it was 154000 That has to go back into stabilization, so we're hoping with a vote, vote from the uh, town meeting we'll be able to put that money back. Mm -hmm. And, and that's another thing that will be in the capital improvement plan is to uh, recommendations about the levels for stabilization as well as um, capital improvement spending. Okay. I, I, get, I have three more questions. Do we have sure. a certain amount of time or not? Okay. Um, is, who would we speak to about getting a list of, of the municipal employees with salaries so we could figure out what the actual what a two and a half percent or two percent raise would make as far as an impact the on the total? The budget? treasurer is the one. 
Okay. Well, Treasurer who has resigned. Right. Well, Keith, Keith, well, is, well, Keith is in there, and you can also see why it's if you, if, if, Yeah, and, and it's, uh, just it's fairly... Just never send an email. Is that what you're saying? Got it. Okay. If you want a tool that I used when I was on advisory, I have one that has most of the line items, and if you just punch in the salary from last year and do a percentage increase, it'll yeah. it'll auto calculate for you the delta that, based on the increase. Yeah, that, that that would be fine. I mean, okay. I don't know. Did, did you send something like that to Steve before? I, I didn't send that one. I have okay. many many files. Yeah. Because, because, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe back what you should do, like maybe, you know, when they have their meetings, maybe you should go in with them. Right. Right. I was going to come, she, she I was going to come last week. I've, I've come a couple right. of times. Yeah. Um, maybe you should be like the only liaison and help them out a lot. Fair enough. Yeah. So, second point was, again, since we're sort of operating a little bit blind, do we have certain priorities as far as, because I, I, again, I might just be over whatever, but I think we probably have more expenses than we have money so where does the chicken come to the um, push come to shove as far as what priorities would we look at or no i mean a lot of them have to be voted well, we on right? of, well, so we, we actually have pretty good headspace between so? right. between what our total like maximum levy is yeah. and okay. and what our budget is um i think when they did the calculation last year we were close to two hundred thousand dollars under our max so if we only went up two and a half percent from what our expenses were last year, mm -hmm. since the levy also goes up two and a half percent, we would still probably maintain that headspace. Now with some of the with some of the forthcoming expenses, we might not hold it quite there, but um, we do have we do have room between what our max levy is and and what our operational budget is for all intents and purposes. So we can sit down and do that math, and you all can. So you figure it out. All right, but that's so we do that before the, the town meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, we need to be doing that now as you're finalizing the budget. Right, because all I was coming up with, as I said, was based on those calculations from last week, there was like 300,000 was how much more we could do over last year. But then if you were under that, then that would be 500, so the extra 200. So then right. so then maybe we're, we're okay. All right, yeah. so I didn't. All right. And then when all like, um, you wanted like then we wait for all the articles to come in and we'll sit down like the select we'll sit down and decide which articles you know should go on the annual town warrant you know right. we want to vote on and then we'll go over them with you also and we'll decide you know where the money is going to come from for those that sounds like a fun meeting <laughs> <laughs> And we should probably like do the when we have those meetings, we should just have, do that on a night, you know, that we're not going to do our regular uh, meeting, you know, not a Tuesday evening. We should do it on another night so you don't have to wait around this long to get on the agenda. And then the, the, just the one last question. Um, when Lanny had come before us, I guess it was a month or two months ago, mm -hmm. she said that the, the VADAR, all the stuff transferring from one to the other was moving along, do we know yeah. where that is? Oh, or yeah, where? It, it is, it's moving all along, and um, Keith, um, right now, he was gonna be meeting, he, she had training on it, it's really a shame, she just had the training on it a couple of weeks ago, but our interim treasurer is, uh, because he was treasurer in another community for many years, so he's right up on the VEDA. Is this the one that's called, quote, consultant? To yeah, that's Mr. Arsenal. Oh, okay. Keith Arsenal. Right. Keith Arsenal. Yeah. And he's been a town treasurer for 35 years, so he's retired, so he, right. he knows what he's doing. So he is, uh, he's pretty well up on the VADAR system, so I think he is meeting with the um, accountant tomorrow, and they're going to talk about a few processes with the VADAR system, okay. how things should be transmitted. Keith, correct? Yes, yes Keith yeah. Arsenal. Arsenal. And we have 6000 for him to do yeah. And then you can also contact Holly Chisholm too. Holly will help you with things. Right. Um, it sort of brings me to a couple other things. Um, when it comes to, you know, we, we withheld uh, uh, voting on a couple of um, salary increases. Uh, we've heard of step and grade and various other things going on, and um, and. You know how how um, how should we handle certain things? You know, and looking and thinking about here, we're looking at for the treasurer. I'm not sure what sort of 
income or money we should be considering for a position like that. We've got a couple other uh, employees who are saying, hey, I, I really need more money and I deserve it. And that's why I was asking for in, in, in number five here, better understanding of step and grade re review, where we at with it, how will that affect our town budget? Well, we had um, hmm? uh, that step and grade, the um, that, that Collins is working on. Yes, not Collins Center. No, it's not going to affect. You know, no, it's not going to be this year. I'm referring to the results. So, in other words, guidance in. in the step and grade pro that that was probably done probably thirty years ago and it's so it's off off Completely. the chat. Right. So I'm on the personnel board, so when we do meet we'll try we look at different figures in between and it's it's way off. So we really just have to, you know, come up with a pretty good figure by looking at the whole step and grade what what rate person should be at. Because we rate the schedule. The schedule is all I mean we have you have a portion where you, um, for an example, um, with work experience, mm -hmm. you know, we give them so many points, and then like for responsibilities <clears throat> and all these different things. And then after we're done with that, we add them all up, and we have to see what the grade is, but the grade is way off. My journey is right. Yep. <clears throat> Just a, because there yeah. are a couple of salaries that are being discussed yeah. that you, you're on hold on yeah would it be appropriate that you in fact fill them in on those at, at, at a time that's convenient yeah or, or mm -hmm. if that makes so, sense uh, if we do have to have maybe we should get you to come maybe <clears throat> on those two we could probably just uh, call a personnel board meeting and we can discuss yeah. them that would be great. yeah that's what we have to do that, that, if you could get them yeah. to me we're going to need something in the way of guidance and then also for we're expected also to recommend a um a percentage in, increase of cola and right. so we again you know just looking for guidance so something more. if you could give me the um the two that want more salary yep. and we can discuss those at a meeting we'll go over the job description and see if it, uh where it should fit okay i'll contact you okay. via email on that okay today. And now the ones that do get their increases, I don't think that they should get a, if they do get the increase, I don't think they should get the COLA too. Not on top of it. No, they shouldn't get it on top of it. No, what, whatever gets proposed ought to include yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and then from a COLA perspective, um, part of it depends mm -hmm. on where the town sits when yeah. you start calculating the headspace. And part of it, it also generally we take a look at some of the other factors like uh, any economic factors like what both federal and state are using for their cost of living yeah. increase. Yeah, we had the, the state one for the Right. For the now recovery. what was the state this year? I believe it was 2.8. Two, two something, yeah. 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 Um, I think you you'd suggested yeah. 2.5 and then others, you know, were in the, the, the two range from up around the Because they've been getting state. pretty regular couple of years in a row they got three percent I know and then last year wasn't it, was it two, two, five. Two, five. two five so they've been getting a good cola raise you know the last few years I remember even years going without cola raises <laughs> yeah, right. but the but our issue now yeah. is the economy yeah the economy and, yeah, yeah and, and you, you, you got to stay as competitive yeah. as we can be yeah. got to keep the people that are familiar with the system or at least we got to Understand there's a cost of training replacements. Yeah, yeah there's a significant cost in training replacements. We want to keep my secretary too. <laughs> to make our, I don't, we have to make out a special list for a little secretary we have for us. No, just us. Um, what do you mean? To pay her because we had her for several weeks. And well, she, she's the one that's paid eleven dollars an hour. For some reason, all the other clerks are making. Oh no, no, the new which one is that? Your advisor board. Our conservation. Oh yeah, yeah well, we okay. have to the, the, the um, personnel board has to get together and we have to rate that job, what it's worth. Okay. Right on the pen, A lot of information. In. Do we have her? Um, did you? Uh, oh, Holly has it all. I'm pretty sure. Has the, uh, yeah. what, we asked her last week if she'd been paid yet for the two months she's put in. She said no, so it's like. Oops. Holly has everything. The last I was dealing with was Lonnie as of last, as late as uh, last Thursday yeah. evening. Uh, I was told that uh, uh, her name is Allison. Allison would be paid this week. I don't That's know. what I was told. 
You will have to check for Holly told you. Holly told you she'll get paid. Okay, that's what you think. But the people, okay. if people were, now, did she go fill out all of her package? That, everything's done. Oh, everything's done. Okay. Done, done, and done. Yeah. Yeah. Hard work, yeah. too. She's just okay. much better than, than me as far as trying to take notes and okay. everything. So if you want to check with Holly, uh, Steve, she'll I probably, she's, she'll be in the water department office in the morning. That's a, an extension, what is that? 17. 17. And check with Holly, and she can tell you. And okay. then she'll flip over and go down to, uh, to the treasurer's office after that. Okay. Okay. Um, regarding um, uh, so uh, that's all about your budget. Uh, details of documents, budgets, legal documents, written statements, other requirements for the end of town meeting. You, you just had said something that, um, yeah, I just want to make sure that whatever you need from us for in pre preparing for a town meeting is, you know, um, you know, like in, in written form, a list, you know, whatever. You just, and I'm, and I'm blanking on, you just mentioned something a couple of minutes ago. I don't remember what it was, okay. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're basically new to this. I know, I know, Karen, that you need a, a, a statement or a letter from this body for the annual town meeting. Uh, for, the, for, the re for the annual town yeah, report, yes, correct. I need a report. Yeah. And what I can and do is get that. You, uh, okay, you can look. There's reports out there. You can look at the one they did last year. Got them. Use it as a guide. He's got my outline. He's been on yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. due. I have to. I have it's to go print on the thirtieth. Yeah. So if everyone can put in uh, okay. their town yeah. reports, those yeah. who have, don't have it in yet, yeah. Yeah, I'm committed to you. Get it. Okay. Um, Very good. Thank you. By the thirtieth. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, what else do you need from us, or do you, do you, you know? Um... Yeah, I mean, we, we don't have a problem with meeting more frequently to fit your schedule or whatever. We're just, we're, I, I don't know what I went on before, but, you know, we're eager to process things and help, so. As we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, just trying to get a handle on things, too, and there's been, you know, some changes internally what, or whatever. For so, instance, you just um, handed me articles. What am I, what, what are we supposed to do with those? Well, that's kind of just a heads up because what happens is it comes to before the board and then the board reviews them and votes whether or not to put them on the, um, on the warrant. Part of it will have to do, and I can, I can walk you through how we've done it historically, um, is that there's a, a total balance sheet that you do, um, usually it's just a working copy, usually the accountant runs one either in parallel or you, you do a shared one. Um, where you've got, okay, here's the operate, you know, here's our total funds available, here's our operational budget, here's what the difference is between our operational budget and our levy limit, here's what the transfer available funds are from like ambulance and water and, and, and whatnot, okay, here's what the articles are, relate, you know, here's what free cash is, here's what the articles are and what their, their costs are. And then some recommendations on on whether or not you think the articles are appropriate to what we have available for funds mm -hmm. is the first thing, and then the second thing is what your recommendation is for a source for that funding. Uh, usually, that's kind of a shared recommendation between the accountant and the advisory committee. Um, you know, it can come from either or both. Uh, we generally hope that they agree, but if for some reason. You know, the accountant says, well, we should just do it under raise and appropriate, and the advisory says free cash, then we just have to make that decision on, on how, to, how to grant the motion as we put it in front of the, the town meeting. So, mm -hmm. uh, so those are kind of the, the three primary pieces that we would be looking for. Uh, and I can step you through at least the tools, and then mm -hmm. you all can use your own judgment about what your actual recommendation is. Yeah. Thank you. Is, are these the types of things that we will review with you on this coming Thursday night, or is there beyond, is that um, too much? I, we can do that Thursday. Okay. So we okay. can do that well, this Thursday. We got a lot. If you yeah. want it. And probably well, you do your Thursday first. thing, and then what we ought to do is target a time that we come back together okay. and kind of noodle, go and noodle. I, I can step them through, because I stepped them through it at the very beginning of the year, but mm -hmm. a lot of time has transpired mm -hmm. and a couple faces yeah. have changed, so we can go back through it. Because there's going to be some hard drugs, oh, and yep. we might as well talk about them now. Right. 
Yeah. And, and, and we're flying a little blind, and so that, that's reality, yeah. and we're going to deal with that as well. Yeah. So. Um, is the uh, police um, union agreement together yet? It's, we're going to be vote, voting on that and hopefully signing it during executive session, and I meant to forward you the impact sheet, and I think I forgot to forward that to you. We are looking to meet with Chief Blanchard. He was he was waiting until that was done. Yep. Okay. Um, we sort of have tentatively for this coming Thursday night, and then You'll May May third as well. So that we're the last big department left, left, I think, wasn't it? Correct. Yeah. 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 And the other yeah. Ones while while we were doing oh, yeah. the negotiations, yeah. Yeah. I did an impact sheet, put it together, and I had meant no, no, to send it to right. both you Control. and the chief, and I don't think I, don't I did. Think, okay. So we're gonna yeah. do that right now. I don't think it's not going to start playing. What are the questions? Any other questions? Any other thoughts? Any other? Do we do the needs? The utilities going to be in the future budget. Let's address that here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's, it's supposed to come out of their budget or to other people's budgets. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. the, the fuel budget is was a line item before. Is that? Mm -hmm. We're going to ask how we get here. Mm -hmm. Um. Might as well talk your budget. Before, before we get there, yeah. um, I know that there are some departments or budgets that seem to have some income. For example, I know REC has the Snack Shack, and so they generate some revenue there. I know that the um, Veterans Agent, the money expended on, he, the way he explained it to us, the money expended this year, we get, I think it was three quarters back next right, year. Right, but it comes back as part of free cash. So, sorry, the, so the Veterans Agent comes back as free cash. That's part of the chair, not free cash, uh, cherry sheets. So the state, what happens is whatever we spend this year, the state puts in our cherry sheet for next year. The three quarters comes back. Okay. So it's it's already it's already part of that cycle. Um, okay. The, the biggest one that that probably has impact the the rec fund. I think recently they went to a a, a privately managed fund for for the snack shack. Um, We'd have to get with Jeff Landine to, to see, but those funds don't come directly back to the town right now. It's run by the equivalent of a booster organization that's a not-for-profit. Um, and the uh, ambulance um, is the primary special fund that, that drives a significant amount of money back into the process. Mm -hmm. All the fees and stuff that are like collected at the transfer station, that's part of those local receipts. That's part of if there's a delta between what we projected and what um, we actually take in, that comes back to us as free cash in the following year. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not necessarily managed as part of this year's budget process, except in as it comes back to us from free cash. Mm -hmm. So, um, but their budgets aren't necessarily linked to what their incomes are. Right, I know. That makes sense, I am just was just curious. I know for some things, to my mind it made, it would be easier for me to understand things if you could look at things like for the ambulance and say, okay, well, this is what we're spending, this is what we're expecting for revenue, and you look at it on more of a net impact than focusing on the expense. But there's probably reason we do it the way we do it now. Yeah, some of it just has to do with how that special fund accounting works. Mm -hmm. um, ambulance generally takes in quite a bit more than what they spend, uh, but that's because then every 10 years we buy an ambulance out of the same funds. So they're basically kind of bankrolling themselves for their later capital expenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for when they need a new wagon. For some right. Money. So. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have many more questions, or some of the questions can maybe Wait, move on with yeah, yeah, tomorrow Yeah, I'm evening? thinking Thursday, um, and then I was just going to, let's just look at your budget. Yeah, so we can go over our yeah. budget. A lot of it's level funded, I will tell you. If you look on the first page, the only two that are significantly different or that are different. First of all, I don't know why the moderator's salary is on our page. We've heard a number of those, by the way. What? We've heard a few of those. Yeah. Okay. Why is this it's, it's just because I don't know why the moderator's salary is not really okay. supposed to be on our page. But if you turn the page to the second one, I have a little breakdown of the general gov government in line 80. 17,000 is because we have that um, contract with our IT person for 16560 440 for a buffer that was as recommended by Carrie because sometimes if he has to do something above and beyond what's on the contract. So $17,000 for that. 
It is up from last year because, again, we signed that contract with them. We didn't have enough money. But if you notice, the next one down went down significantly because we did get, that's for the town website, which we had to pay last year to set it up and to get it going. And if you look, that's explained to, we're only going to ask for 6000 versus 11300 1750 for virtual town hall, 2000 for the emails per year, 2000 for Tom George. Believe me, he won't use it. He used a quarter of that last year, but I just wanted to have that in because we are trying to get him to do a little bit more to help us. Tom George. Who is Tom George, he is the, um, he's actually a firefighter and he works for the town of Barry and he also does um, website work on the side. He was highly recommended to us. He works for practically nothing, truthfully. He did pay me $500 last year, something like that. Um, but virtual town hall, a problem that we're having right now, one of the problems with them is they it's costly for them to come in and do training to teach us how to post on the website. They did have online courses. To tell you the truth, most, most of the department heads don't know how to do it. I don't know if you do, Peter, but most of them don't. It's just difficult. This is something that I'm hoping Tom George can step in, and again, he doesn't charge that much money, and maybe give us a course, yeah, teach us how to do it. We're not gonna use all that money, but I wanted to have it just in case we need it, and Carrie agreed with that too. 250 buffers, so that's $6,000. Everything else is basically the same, except for the general insurance. And by the way, um, when I talked to Carrie, Carrie didn't understand why the general insurance is also on our sheet, yeah, which it wasn't on any sheet, so I stuck it on yeah, you. Yeah, you mentioned that. Because she said it should be with the treasurer's office. However, I said this year, leave it on my sheet because I pay the general insurance bills as opposed to the- Well, and that's exactly why it's on our sheet, is okay. because it generally is paid out of this reference yeah. office. Yeah. And, but, and like historically, you, I think you're also the one that usually mm -hmm. sends out the, the request for quote, even though we no, wind up with the same agency because there's only yeah. a certain number of well, them. Well, I have, I have, I have <laughs> See, one twice, but, but well, well, Carrie year. begs to differ. She thinks it should be with the treasurer maybe next year. Well, I'm going to leave that up to her, but basically that's, and that's the other uh, item that's going up 3% across the board. Again, that's not carbon in stone. That's a guess on our insurance agent's part, but that's what we allow. We're looking at 840, you're saying? Number. Um, number 840, right. Yeah. It was okay. um, 141, 110, and we want to bring it up to 145, 343. That represents a 3% increase. Mm -hmm. The phones are staying the same. Um, you go to the, basically, the next two pages were the municipal custodian wages. Can we back up? Yep. The uh, computer maintenance. Yes. Um, what, what was, what's driving that increase? Okay, if you look on your next page, we have the line number 80. It's uh, We signed a contract with an IT person mm -hmm. to manage the accounts, and he comes in and he, he's on call, basically, for us. Okay. What and did we do last year? Or in, what did we well, last years? year we really didn't have much of a budget. The year before we had Tantastical come in, and it, it, it didn't work out. No one was happy with it. Uh, it was, we had to get a ticket to get service, and it was pretty costly. As, at a per hour um, fee, this, this IT person is much cheaper. And we did get quotes, and, uh, and the recommendation with the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. and Harry, who was quite computer savvy, that's why we chose Larry, who was the lowest bidder. So you, you didn't have to cross all town hall, all everything, right? Yeah, yes. But see, what happened is, let me explain something. What happened is, before we had just our regular computers, it was on one server, and I'm not very computer savvy, so you'll have to forgive me, but when we had the new computers, which were really refurbished computers from a grant from Tantas, but it put it all on this, I guess it's a server, or it's some kind of, of, of technology that requires uh, it to be maintained. So that was the mistake I guess we made. We were maintaining everything as we went along just yeah. to call an IT person when we needed them. This whole new system requires an IT person to maintain it. It's quite complicated. So the system we acquired requires a uh, higher level of care and feeding. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so they, they basically yes. went from a peer-to-peer -peer network where it was pretty much everything running on individual hard drives yeah. with only some of them hooked up together to running an actual server down in the basement. Mm -hmm. um, and the challenge that we're having is just the, the having somebody consistently on call to, to do that maintenance. So uh, it's the same individual who used to maintain the kind of cobbled together network, but now we're, we're doing it at a level that makes us compliant with things like 
Mass General Law and the records keeping requirement and the backing up requirement and instituting a certain level of internet security that didn't exist previously. So, oh, so we'll be non compliant with those things in, uh, in the past? I can neither confirm nor deny. So but, but you can confirm we have a plan to be compliant. We, we have a plan to be compliant, and he's part of that plan. And so. he's very good. You call it's, him, and mm -hmm. he's here automatically. He's keeping us running, right? Yeah, he's With keeping the, us running. The going, the going. Fixing things as he, they break. He, he, he fixes, no. Yeah, he fixes things as they break. Yeah, he'll take mm -hmm. a part of an old one and he'll put it into to the one that we're, needs to be and, fixed. And for the most part, most of his services have been covered under the... the we have not paid an... Uh, I, other than I think a $40 hard drive or something, we have not gone above and beyond what's, 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 covered in what's currently yeah. covered in his contract. So. so we're very happy with yeah. that. We have a three-year contract, this is the second year. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, if you want to go on to the next one, um, basically... So, uh, okay. just, so this one right here, this 123.681 is this column added up, and yes. then you're adding yes. legal, wherever legal is. Oh, let's get down to 440 with the legal. That's another thing. 440 we did put legal. an extra $5,000 in, yep. and that was under the recommendation of town council because we have, as you know, a lot of litigation this year. Mm -hmm. well, that may, well, it's really in three buckets. And probably the most important twist and change is the solar fields yeah. Yeah. that we've I mean, we're, oh, we're, yes. we're talking megabucks yeah. and, and we might even in legal more. in legal fees yeah. for to to support the negotiations related to the solar fields. And what we have is we see the one on Route Nine, and everybody sees that and complains right. about that. The reality is there are at least two others that are going to come yeah. that are going to require the same due diligence in reviewing those contracts to make sure. And again, Al's doing a terrific job. Staying in front of, staying in front of the contracts and making sure we're getting a fair deal out of them, mm -hmm. but he certainly needs the support. So we have that. The second bucket that's kind of like the surprise beyond litigation is the uh, what what I call abandoned housing. You heard us talking earlier. Yeah, yeah. We're going to take down one. We've got a dozen behind that that have we need to figure out what we're doing. Right. So and uh, for each one of them the, to be totally covered, we really need to to. Not just not just do the the public hearing, but also take it to land court and ensure that we've got coverage from the standpoint of, of being all straight and legal and taking them down. So those, to me, yeah. for the kinds of monies that we're talking about, yeah. are significant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Already, like Sharon, because uh, I already had turned over something to town council on questions that Sharon had, and didn't she <coughs> find something that she corrected for you? Yeah. So, so you really well, well worth it. Yeah. They, oh yeah, it's well worth it. It was for an existing project. The um, the uh, applicant, the successful applicant, had um, a transaction he wants planning board to sign off on, and I had to determine through council whether we were the appropriate yeah. party because it did constitute a contract, and I've received an answer on that. And also, she reviewed the text of this proposed mm -hmm. agreement and found something that had been drafted by them for another town, but the company had removed a significant term from it. And she restored that that term. That term. Yeah. So I emailed the applicant and said, this is what we're willing to sign, not the one yeah. you sent us. And yeah. we've got planning board is meeting tomorrow, and this is on the agenda. And then also she's uh, reviewing the pilot programs also. Right. So so we really need, you know, that's where the extra money comes. It's really going to be needed. Uh, and we'll see the receipts from it yeah. as well. But, yeah. But we've got to pay the bill up front. Yeah, have to pay it. One of the two things regarding legal service, well, that type of thing. I recall a conversation you and I had about having each department break out legal services on their but own. I, we've talked about okay. that. Okay, so in other words, there it is. Yeah. Thank you very much. What about utilities? Um, some have come through, some of the department heads have come through with utilities indicated on their budgets. Others have not, and, and does that reflect a, where is that reflected in here as far as a, a, a reduction? Well, the uh, municipal property utilities it's staying Page. the same as per K. Uh, this is the um, 
the left, next to the last page. Town, um, town hall, correct, at the top? Yes, yeah, I mean, that's what we told Kerry said to keep it the same, that's why I did, so. I don't know, I'll have to double check with her. Because I know it was Kerry's that. suggestion to take a lot of those and have the departments yes, and themselves. Yes, that's what they did, yeah. It just seems that there would be a a, a coinciding yep. deduction yeah, somewhere I'm, I'm here. Gonna ch I will check with her on that. And I, don't and, know and why I can I tell you right now, it, it was. I'm looking at 2017 and 2005, and and I uh, I'm just struggling for one right off the top of my head. It was eight grand for somebody. Oh, okay. Okay, and um, right. is that how it worked before? Is it there was this one line item in the um, the general. Government what area happened is there were, no, it was only for some, what, and it's not for all. What it is is there are some bills that the bank office, office paid, and it was a um, telephone bill for um, charter for the Cape, uh, for the uh, fire department and for the highway department. I don't know why that is because we should probably only be paying our own. And then also there was uh, the uh, the gas bill mm -hmm. for the library for the. Library, the fire department, and the highway department were also paying that bill for them. It would have been municipal bills. heating. Yeah, yeah, municipal heating. A couple. So, so. I, I, I'm going to have to check with her because yeah. she did say keep it the same, but that, yeah. that, that is the one. I, 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 I can, didn't want to double count it. I can give you a direct, for instance. Okay. Highway. They indicate eight thousand dollars in utilities on the 2019 budget, which did not exist in any previous budget mm. for highway. Yeah. So we, we, we would be yeah. looking for $8,000 coming off of, I think, this somewhere. Right, okay, it's not gonna be a municipal property utilities. Um, I'm gonna have to check and see what yeah. I can do. Okay, and, and so that's what I'll do. I'm remembering a couple of them and I can give you those. They're on um, those sheets. Okay. They're on yeah. Those Give me that. Yes, yes. If you can do that, that'd be great. Or is it? You say it was on this one. Now the highway. Don't they always take the diesel? Oh, yeah. yeah as far as and that's another thing too. These last, the last page. Yep. The um, diesel fuel. That's something that. The highway determines whether or not we should go up or down. I don't know why it's on our page because I don't pay any diesel fuel at all, but it just happens to be on this page. And the municipal gasoline, I'm sure that's what they use for the town vehicles, whatever. Again, that's the highway department. I don't know why it's here. Um, print town report, we're leaving the same. Municipal heating fuel, extra $500 as per carry. But I'm going to double check. Something will have to be adjusted. I would take a guess that the fuel is on here because it's marked as general government and you're feeding all of your vehicles. Right. And all of your gasoline mm -hmm. off of those Right, trucks. I just don't know why it's on the board of selectors only because the highway usually determines the, the figure. I, I called and asked her, that's why it says same per, uh, percentage. Mm -hmm. So that's staying the same. Okay, so we have to do the check uh, with fuel. Yeah. So mm -hmm. The only thing I'd like to mention is that uh, the telephone goes through the switch down here. It doesn't go through the charter. The charter is their internet and television. Right, mm -hmm. right, okay. Uh, but ironically, uh, the account it came from was the telephone bill, so that's yeah. another one we're gonna have to check for. Uh, oh, it was just marked telephone, at least that's how it was set up long ago. Yeah, they would just hold it there under telephone rather than creating Yeah, online. but I will um, double check those two things right in there. I have a question on general government. Do we have any metrics, um, for example, for um, municipal heating fuel? I see we're bumping it by 500. Is that based on project unexpected um, fuel costs for the coming year? Because my thought is that, um, what's, what's the basis for that? Because fundamentally my question is, it's, um, I, know, I believe the heating industry uses something called degree days and they use those to determine when they need to roll the truck to my house and fill up the tank. And so the thought is based on the number of degree days and the price of fuel oil, you can come up with a pretty good understanding of how much you're going to spend in a year. So 
to me, that's what but Carrie recommended. I don't know how she came to that figure, so. I do we still go up? Do we still get involved with? Um, we get the state bit. The state bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. we still do that with Central Mass Planning Commission. Yeah, mm -hmm. we go up. So we're, we're part of a bulk purchase, and that gets us a good rate. Like, that's and then aren't we on automatic delivery with them? Well, on our, well, the only one that's really left now is, is the fire station. Yeah. That yeah. one no, I thought he building. didn't. He convert it to gas. And he has well, he has one that he's. I just got to just paid a Peterson oil. I, I, I believe ago. my recollection says one. that fire has gas and oil. oil. Yeah, one of his. Yeah, he yeah. did yeah. convert yeah. one. He didn't yeah. convert the other. Yeah. And then, and I guess I would say similarly for yeah. diesel and gasoline, yeah. it's like yeah. that's. I'm sure they're going by the state bid. You can ask Cindy, but I'm I'm yeah. sure they are. Okay, so they're the state bid. They're expecting the uh, and the state bid locks in a price for the year. Yes. Yes. Okay. I know. I know she goes by the state. Yeah. You can confirm that with her, but I know that to be true. Okay. Because it's it's just I'm I'm a metrics kind of guy, and so budgeting this, it says okay, I need to know how much a gallon costs and how many miles I'm expecting to drive, and so therefore, if the price goes up or the amount of driving changes, that's going to change the amount we need to budget. Okay. Legit questions, so given especially given the fact that the municipal. Probably need to see what our breakdown is now that we've converted to gas. We've got some slightly newer burners. So. Mm. Yeah, you should, should actually see us out. Well, we should see it moving the other direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Although, oh, sure. unfortunately, gas went up more than, uh, than oil more than this oil. last year. Utility wise. <laughs> what? U utility wise, I have one more for you. What? Fire separated. $8,900 out for utilities. Okay, well that's what I said, I'm gonna check with uh, with Kerry tomorrow. Okay, well those are the two that we've received, okay. Fire and Howard. Fire and Howard, and okay. that's exactly right. The only other one is the uh, library too, because we were paying for the library's uh, right. gas yeah. bill. So we should call seeing that on the library. Thank you, Mr. Okay. okay. Uh, any other questions regarding the budget for um, our our select board here. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. 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 We've got a couple of follow-up things. Uh, Beth, we're going to see you on Thursday. Running yep. rate. I was going to see you last Thursday, but you called me off. How much you spent? Yes, we're glad we did. Okay. Definitely. Pretty fun. Well, I'll get you a um, question regarding town employee salaries. Okay. The spreadsheet that shows how much we spend. Uh, I'll call Holly tomorrow and make sure we're done. Paid. I have a. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, make sure no, that you're. I'm, um, I'm, I'm looking for Jeff's notes for something. Um, let's do something behind here. No, it's, it's big and thick. It's